Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mantech Tutorials. My name is MG Men, your regular host. Today's tutorial is going to be on Coral Draw graphic design. So I'm going to be showing you guys how we can design from scratch the very popular NNPC logo and join NNPC logo. Okay, so let's get right to it. On the left here, I have the logo, and then I have an empty workspace. On my left panel, I have my toolbox. I need a cycle, so I'm going to grab the ellipse tool. I need a perfect cycle, so I'm going to hold down control while dragging. I'm going to press spacebar to return to select, uh, uh, to return to pick two. I'm going to press P to center my object. Next, I'm going to increase the thickness and I'm going to enlarge. I'll press P to center. Okay. Next, I need a rectangle too. I'll draw a rectangle like this. Then I'll center it spacebar to return to picture. Center this guy. Now I'm going to duplicate this guy multiple times. But first, I press Ctrl D and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise. Press P to center it. Another one. This is going to be this is going to be 18. 18. I need it to go clockwise, so I'm going to mirror it horizontally. Then I'm going to press P to center it. I'll continue in that fashion. 18 plus 18 is 36. Mirror horizontal. Center and it on again. That six plus eighteen is fifty four. I'm going to mirror horizontally and I'm going to press P to center it. I get this again. Fifty four plus eighteen is seventy two. 72, I'm going to mirror horizontally, I'm going to press P to center it. Okay, now I go counterclockwise, press D, and then I get this guy. <coughs> Start from 18 again, center, control D. And uh, 18 plus 18 times 6. <coughs> Press P to center. Get this guy again. Control D. Um, I'm going to grab uh, what is it going to be now? That 6 is going to be 54. I'm going to press P to center it. Last but not least, control D. This guy is gonna be <coughs> 72. 72 sounds about right. P to center. Now I'm gonna do a little trick here. So first things first, I'm going to highlight everything on my workspace. After highlighting. After highlighting, I look at my formatting toolbar or my properties tab. I can see multiple options here that ranges from combine, weld, trim, simplify, intersect, uh, front panels, back panels, front and boundary, what have you. So, but I'm interested in the weld. So I'm going to click on weld. 
Now watch what happens. It gives me this beautiful shape. I'm going to press P to center it. Yeah, I'm going to reduce it like this. So right now I need a cycle. Grab my ellipse tool, space to return to speed tool, center it, and it can increase the thickness to four. And it to be like this. Now this is too much for this do I have enough space for text? Perhaps. Oh yeah, perhaps. Okay. I need to duplicate the cycle too and shrink it. Shrink it more. Control P. Now quickly, <clears throat> before I write the text, I need to color all the shapes. So usually I will get colors from my color palette and apply here, but um, I'm going to use the color eyedropper tool to sample color from this object here, this bitmap. Of course, this is a bitmap and then apply it on my object here, any aspect of my object I like. So. I'm going to go to color eyedropper and I'm going to sample this color like this and I'm going to apply it here easy I go here again click on it I sample this guy and I drop it here all right next up I'm going to grab my text tool And I stop typing. Petroleum. Petroleum. Corporation to stand on its own. Corporation. I want this guy to be black. This one too. And then I need to change the font size into 48. 48. Perhaps the font type too. Okay, next I'm going to mirror this guy horizontally and then vertically because by the time I grab fit text to parts, I'm going to see it here. Okay, I'm sure the fit text to parts. Okay, 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 okay. Nah, this is good. Uh, Alright, this is cool. Alright, this is cool. Okay. <coughs> so I'm gonna drop this guy here. Yeah? And I can adjust it a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. I'm going to grab this guy again, fit text part, and give me this guy. Uh -uh. Fit text parts. Uh 
Yeah, I can I get this guy? Perfect. Perfect. So I can adjust. Can I have anything to adjust my I have my text. <clears throat> Next of all, the last thing I need is Value to uh, picture or design of a cell tool and refinery inside. So I'm going to use another trick to extract it. I'm going to grab an ellipse to draw a perfect circle like this. Space bar. Then I'm going to measure it first things first. Let me increase the thickness and color the outline white. I'm going to use it to measure. Now, so big. Okay, this is too big. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Now. After getting this, I need to select both the cycle that I just created and the object here. So I hold on shift to watch this object is already selected. So I'm just going to click here to select both. So I'm going to use one of these. I'm going to use a uh, intersect. So I click intersect and then watch what happens. I'm going to drag this guy out drag this guy out i can do it with this and i can keep this one aside so i have been able to extract this guy next thing i'm going to do is let me see it's too big it's too big uh perfect so i'm going to do i'm going to use the power clip option so um, I don't need to go there. Get out. Okay, power clip inside. I'll just put it here. And then, just like that, everything's done. Everything is done. So, I'm going to delete this guy. I'm going to export. Let me see. NNPC logo. Okay. I need a quality of highest. Okay. Come on. All right. So. There goes our design. Okay, so that's it for today. I'd like to thank you so much for viewing. Please like this video, leave us your comments, subscribe to my channel, Mantel Tutorials, and don't forget to turn on notification. Thank you until I come your way again next time. Stay safe. Bye.